Hello everyone and namaste. So in today's session, we are mainly going to discuss about the basic commands like creating, removing, copying, moving your files and your directory. So guys, uh, these basic commands are very much important in Linux because while you are working in your production environment, right? So you should better know that what you are doing with your files and your directories, right guys? So whether you are uh, copying something, whether you are removing something or whether you are deleting something. And in the previous session, I have clearly explained, right? So whatever operations you are doing in your production environment, right? So uh, you should know uh, that what you are doing with that one because if you made uh, some mistakes, so you should know that how to roll back those things, how to recover those things. So this is very much important, right? So without wasting uh, the time, let's directly jump into the topic. So guys, before going into this one, your basic command, there are few commands which you need to learn first, okay? So yes, we know that uh, we have to know about the Linux basic commands. That is your uh, creating a file in Linux, okay? Or whether to display the content of a file and how to append the data in an existing file, right guys? And how to creating multiple files by using different commands, how to creating a directory in your Linux operating system and how to creating multiple directories. So guys, we'll discuss on all these scenarios one by one. But before going into this one, let me show you some of the command which is very handy and which is very much useful while you are working as a Linux system administrator because I have spent more than uh, you can say uh, eight years, eight plus years in this uh, Linux system administration. So I know these commands are uh, very much useful while you are working within those directories. Right guys? Okay, so what we are going to do here is as of now first thing is first you need to go to the topmost level as I said very clearly in the previous lecture that uh, always go to the topmost level that is forward slash that is the root directory. So CD is nothing but this is a change of directory where you are changing the directory you are going to the topmost level that is your uh, root directory and if you do LS LS is nothing but it will list you all the files okay uh, which is uh, you can say uh, the files are under your uh, topmost level like bin directory will be there your mnt directory will be there slash etc directory will be there opt directory will be there root directory will be there so these directories will be under your cd forward slash that is your on top of, uh, of uh, the top uh, level of your uh, linux operating system right or top level of your linux file system you can say correct guys so here what i am going to do is uh, i am going to create a directory first that is mkdir udemy okay so whatever operations i am doing guys okay so same operation i used to do in my production environment also there is no change at all so in between i'll be explaining you the tips and tricks also how you can do the same thing while you are working in your production environment as a linux system administrator right guys so yeah so we'll create the directory first with a udemy so this again i'll be explaining don't uh, get confused as of now that uh, I'm using MKDIR. No, again, I'll be explaining how we can use MKDIR with multiple options. So as of now, I have created a directory, right? That is your uh, Udemy. So under Udemy, let me take you through. So we'll go to Udemy first, okay? So under Udemy, we are here. So I am using a command called PWD. PWD is nothing but it will tell you where exactly you are. What is the location of yours? Means the present working directory where you are. So there is also one command what uh, what I have explained is who am I right? So who am I will tell you in which user you are means you have logged in with which user okay and this user are at present time where is your location right now correct guys? So if I can tell my present location is in my uh, uh, home and I am in Bangalore right? So I, I am telling that my present location right? So same way if you do PWD, it is nothing but your present working directory. So your present working directory is Udemy guys and LS again if I am using LS command. So there is nothing inside this one. So it is not showing any files or a directory inside this one. But if you again want to go to the 
previous position understand my point very carefully guys so if you again want to go to your previous position where was your previous position how you will come to know what is your previous position so first you need to check what is your current position so your current position is you are under udemy you want to go to the previous position so i am sure that you have not used uh, this command before so this you can use it directly in your production environments uh, so i i am using this command on a regular basis in my production environment okay guys so what i used to do if i have to go to the previous position i will do cd dash okay so if you do cd dash or hyphen you can use so you can see where was the previous position if you remember in the previous of the command i use cd forward slash that is the top most level and you, again if i am doing ls ls is nothing but it will show you the information of it will listing the information of your files with just file name it is not like detailed information of the files it is just listing the file names and your directory that's it but if you want to see the detail of your file name of your directory in detail then you need to do ll that is your long listing why because in long listing you can see you are getting what all informations are there so you are able to see what all permission this file is having the right read write execute and what type of file it is this is a directory right uh, what is the i node number who is the owner who is the group owner right what is the size of the file when the file file is got created right and then your directory name right guys so this is the detailed information of your file or a directory if you do long listing don't worry again i'll be explaining the same thing so which all command just now we have understand guys so we have understand ls command we have understand ll command and we have understand your cd forward slash that is your change of directory and you are going to where you are going to the top most level okay and if you do pwd is nothing but it will tell you the present working directory or your present working location correct guys and again just now i am going to a directory called uh, uh, slash etc slash sysconfig okay sysconfig inside this one network script is there okay inside network script there are multiple files will be there don't worry about that i just wanted to show a example here how we can do it okay so you can see if you want to go to the previous position where was your previous position guys just tell me your previous position was where at the top most level then what you need to do cd hyphen you can see you are where now your present working directory is your top most level right and again if you want to go to where again you want to go to under this network script then what you will do again you do cd hyphen so guys and again if you do pwd so you can see this is your present working directory so this is why i am telling this cd hyphen is very much useful command in your production environment but if you want to go to suppose if you have if you have to check some of the file inside this sysconfig so in that scenario what you need to do is cd dot dot means one directory back means one directory back to where is your sysconfig directory is there right so how you can go uh, go to that directory is cd dot dot you can see now if you do pwd you can see where you are you are in sysconfig right guys and again if you want to go to your previous position now you need to tell me if i use this command where i will be so your previous position your previous location was where your previous location was not here your previous location was inside network script so if you do this one so you will be in this one guys you are getting my point but if you go if you want to go two directories back like cd dot dot and cd dot dot again then where you will be tell me guys so you will be in under slash etc so you can see under slash etc we are right correct guys this is this is what we are so if you do pwd you can see this is your present working directory so just now which all commands we have learned guys so we can see we have used change directory at the top most level okay and if you want to see your present working directory pwd and if you want to list the file under this directory then you need to do a listing just with the name of this files and the directory but if you want to do do the long listing then what you need to do ll correct and if you want to go to the previous position suppose where we are cd slash etc sysconfig right and network script okay 
network script guys okay so you can see if you do pwd you are at here but if you want to go to the previous location what we need to do cd hyphen guys so these are the some basic commands before jumping into your linux basic commands with the scenarios where we where will be creating your uh, files where will be your displaying the files where will be appending the data to those files so these are some useful command there is also one more thing i just wanted to show you guys right that is there is a one directory in the previous session i have explained you what is the var directory var directory is nothing but it contains all your variable data right guys this is very much important directory while you are troubleshooting any issue related to your operating system okay so if you go to this directory you can see uh, multiple logs will be there right if i do ls i'll be able to see these logs if i do ll i'll be again able to see the logs with detail but if i want to see the logs with the latest one okay then what i need to do ls hyphen ltrh this is the very frequently used command in your production environment guys so you can uh, you can use this command uh, with any restriction in your production environment go ahead and use this command that is my suggestion okay so what we are doing over here you can see we are listing also correct and we are doing long listing also correct with trh t is nothing but with the latest time r is nothing but you want to see recursively h is nothing but it is a human readable format okay or you can say uh, uh, how it will be so you can see as of now what date it is showing so it is showing at 22nd november if you normally do ll over here it's showing you if i do a date command over here okay what date is today's date you can see it's 22nd of april right guys and it is showing 22nd of number but you want the latest file to be at the bottom then what you need to do is ls hyphen ltrs so now you can see the latest file is at the bottom with the latest date with the file size with the who is the owner of this file who is the group owner of this file and what is the permission of this file right guys so are you getting my point understanding right so okay guys now we'll discuss the first scenario in your linux basic command as you now understand some of the uh, these commands whatever command just now i have explained these are like prerequisites while you are operating with your basic commands so again i am telling you linux is uh, linux is not at all some basic commands it's far more than that so whatever things i am going to explain you okay these basic commands these scenario scenarios okay so by use of this scenario only we can create a script in the coming uh, session if i'll be explaining you about the cell scripting somewhere okay then you should understand by use of this commands only we can create your particular script these are ad hoc commands only so if you understand these basic commands very carefully then only you will be able to automate your linux task in your production environment guys okay so let's get started with this one so i am using clear clear is nothing but it will clear your the screen it's not like clear everything no it will clear the current session what in session you are in okay so as you can see if i do ls over here uh, i need to check where i am i am in var log so where i need to go i need to go to the topmost level right guys so what i am doing here is i have just i have in created a directory right called udemy so you can go to this udemy directory okay and if you do ls over here so you can see nothing is here right there is no directory present here correct so what thing we are going to do we are going to create the first scenario that how we can create a file in your linux operating system so yes i know most of the people use vi editor but my suggestion is never ever use vi editor there are multiple ways to create a file by using your cat command okay and by using your touch command also we can create a file in your linux operating system okay vi it's like how those who doesn't know much more they will directly use this vi editor guys so it's better that if you know if you really wants to know how to create a file in a 
uh, Linux operating system, then I would suggest always use this cat command and this touch command. So cat command, how we can use this cat command, guys? So if you want to create a file, what we need to do is cat and greater than symbol and you need to give a file name that is file1.txt with this cat also i can show you multiple options as of now so just try to understand this thing guys okay so if you want to create a file you have given cat greater than and enter so it's not taking you it's not exiting from this command still the command is running try to understand over here the command is running the command is, is still this file is not at all saved Okay, now see the trick over here. I'll show you. Now we are going to create a file over here with file1.txt, right? So what I need to do is, I need to do control and D in my keyword. Okay, control and D, then the file is saved. And if I do ls over here, you can see the file is saved. Correct? But this file doesn't have any data as of now. Then how you can check the full detail of a file, then you need to do LL. So you can see the file size is 0 KB, right? So there is no data inside this file. Now again, if you do cat greater than and file 2.txt, now you need to tell me, see still the command is executing. But if I want to exit from this command, whether the file will be creating or not, you need to tell me. Okay, just now I have exited. Now you need to tell me the file is created or not. Yes or no? The file is not at all created because you have interrupted the process in between only, correct? You have not let the commands to execute. Then what you will do if you do ls, you see only file1.txt is available, which we have created previously. Correct, guys? So, and if you again do cat greater than and then file two dot txt. Now again, you need to tell me that whether the file will be created or not. Again, I'll put a enter over here. But remember, the line is changed. The line is changed from first line to a new line. And again, if I want to exit from this one, then what I need to do is control C. Okay, then the command will get exited. But as I said very clearly, if you want to create a file, you need to do control D if you want to save the file, right? But if I do control C, now you need to tell whether the file is created or not. The file is created because you have exited from the first command and you have you have you have gone, you have completed the first command, but you have exited from the second line. So if you do ls over here, you can see file 2.txt is available right guys are you able to understand my point correct correct but you need to see if you with the full detail of this file then you can see both the files are empty right there is no data inside this file correct guys so if you want to put any data or if you want to append the data to this file that i'll tell you in the uh, next scenario but before to this one okay so with the cat command, I'll tell you very frankly, you can create one file at a time. See, if you want to create a file, for example, I'm telling, okay, what we need to do is file3.txt. Again, I want to create multiple files over here, right? File4.txt, will it work, guys? Enter, okay. See, it's giving you the error. Cat file, no such file or a directory means what? means you can create one file at a time by using this cat command this is very clear right so linux is all about your maths if you do more and more practice you will be getting more and more better in your linux operating system correct so now the next thing is if you want to create multiple files correct the next step is if you want to create the multiple files then what you need to do in if you if you are deploying some application like Paytm or PhonePay or any other application in your Linux operating system, then that there will be chances that you need to create multiple files at a time. But remember, so if you want to create multiple files at a time, you cannot put data to all those files at a time. You can create multiple files at a time, but you cannot put data to all those files at a time. So what we need to do is you need to use touch command, guys. You need to use T O U C H touch command. And if you want to create 
file multiple files so till now we have created file 1.txt file 2.txt so we are going to create file 3.txt okay now you can see i am going to create file 4.txt okay now i am going to see here file 5.txt means you can create n number of files okay but if you enter and if you do ll just do ls the files are created or not yes the files are created but there is a huge difference here with the touch command so touch command if you use to create a file the file will be empty the file size will be 0 kb so there is no data inside this file you can see clearly all these files we have created by using touch command is of your 0 kbs right guys are you getting my point understanding my point okay so the next task is now we know how to create a file by using your cat command with your cat command and by touch command right but the file size is still your 0 kb now the next scenario we are going to display uh, see that how to display the content of a file but before going into this scenario you need to append some data append some data means to a existing file so means what still we have not put any data inside this file right so first what we need to do is let me put some data inside this file so with the cat command also while you are saving the file you can put the data at the same time right this is the difference between cat and touch command okay now understand here if you do a cat command and if i do a file just now we have created till 5 5 now we are going to do file 6. txt okay if i do enter but it's not exited now what i am going to write over here welcome to production and var ment okay and again put enter so still the loop is not come out of this command okay this command is also a kind of script that i have explained you in the architecture of linux right guys there is a re, there is a particular process or there is a script running behind this one right so what we need to do is you need to do control d over here right so if i do ls you can see file 6 is created now if you do ll you are able to see file 6.txt is having 35 kb size right the size of the file 6.txt is your 35 kb and if you do file 6.txt you can see correct so this is what with the cat command we can do but with the touch command we cannot put the data at the same time guys try to understand this thing okay so as of now i am not explaining you the vi because there will be a separate session for the vi editor vi editor itself has lot of options available and guys one more thing if you want to do more and more with the lin this this commands so what we need to do is cat hyphen hyphen help command is there so you can see what all options we can use with the cat command so this is a assignment kind of a thing so if you use this hyphen hyphen okay uh, help and you will be getting multiple options so try to use this options and come up with your queries so you can post this queries to the udemy message so i'll try to answer as soon as possible guys okay now the next thing is what i was explaining i was explaining about the cat command how we can put the data into a particular file right guys and with the touch command we cannot do that one right we saw that one so touch command only create your empty files correct now the next scenario is we are going to see the how to display the content so if you want to display the content it's very simple you need to do a file if you do a cat and file 1. txt right so there is no data as of now in this file right so in this place what we need to do is okay we need to do file 6. dot txt so now you can see the content of the data so guys whatever the things i am explaining here same way i am doing in my production environment or i have done in my production environment okay whether i have worked with many mnc's correct there is no other way this is the only way you can uh, get it um, you will resolve your issue okay or you you need to work in your production environment correct now the next thing what you need to understand over here is now we have to append the data into existing file so this is also something new trick i am going to show you yes we can use we can append the data by using cat command also 
but we can append the data by using echo command also which is you will not get it anywhere this is a part of cell scripting okay so if you want to append the data to this file one dot txt then what you need to do is see append there is already a data in this file correct and again i want to append a new data in this file then what i need to do is cat okay and you need to give the file name okay so how, how it will be what we need to do is guys you need to do double greater than symbol understand this one very carefully okay a cat double greater than symbol and you need to give file 6.txt okay and enter see now it's asking you to put the uh, new line okay so what i'm going to do is this is a new line okay new line one correct and again new line two okay enter and again do control d in your keyboard and again do ll so now you can see the file size is increased to 55 kb earlier it was 35 kb obviously the data is appended this is how you can verify right so what we need to do is again you need to display the content then you need to do file 6.txt with the cat command right now you can see the data is appended correct correct guys but there is another way also this file one txt uh, file one dot txt is also empty right so if i want to append the data i can use echo command over here what i need to do is i need to give a double quotes inside this double quotes i need to give welcome to production one okay and what i need to do is i need to give double greater than okay and you need to give the file one dot txt enter so now this is if you want to display you can see file one dot txt so welcome to production one data is appended to this one so guys these are the ways by using these are the uh, uh, techniques we can append the data into a existing file right guys are you getting my point understanding it carefully right now the next scenario is we need to discuss how we can create multiple files in a linux operating system guys so if you want to create multiple files in a linux operating system then what you need to do is just now i have already shown you need to use a touch command okay if you use a touch command and you want to create multiple files but again remember these files will be empty files will be there so guys uh, you can use touch command but the files will be of your zero file size means the file size you're in zero kb okay so this is very much important so i would suggest whenever you want to create some file use either cat command okay and put some data inside that one okay but anyways if you if you that will be an additional task for you okay with the touch command there is also one more thing guys okay so i have shown you clearly if you want to append a data to an existing file right we can use cat command okay or we can use cat command in two ways right if the file is new file if you are creating also see understand this thing very carefully if you want to create a file now i am going to create a file called 7.txt and at the same time okay i am going to create the file and i am going to put the data also means it's creating the file also and it's putting the data also in inside that file inserting the data also in in that particular file right so here what i am going to do is just put any statement uh, welcome to testing environment okay run mint okay enter now if you do control d so what we have done just now you have created a new file at the same time you have data okay also added to this file correct two things we have done it it is not like in the existing file we have appended it's a new file but with the touch command you can create a file multiple files but same thing if you want to create multiple files with the cat command it's not at all possible but with the touch it is possible but the thing is you cannot put the data into those files but with the echo command just now i have shown right if you want to put something into this one okay 
any data you want to put, uh, put over here right welcome to vmware okay and if i want to put a data to an existing file just now this file right 7.txt we have created correct if i want to put a data to this file as well as to file 2 as well as to file 3 will it be possible with this echo command let's see okay so as of now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a data the data is already available in this file if you display this file 7.txt see there is a data already but again you want to append a new data then what we need to do is you need to do a echo double uh, quotes in, in in this one welcome to rhel linux okay and in this one where you want to put this one in file 7.txt but same thing i want to do it for file 3.txt file 2.txt will it be possible will it be possible no not at all now you see yet the command is executed try to understand over here the command is executed and if you want to cat the file which file 7.txt now you'll see what data so it has taken this one as a input as well as these two files as a also input means what these two files are uh, we have appended to this particular file 7.txt right as a data only it means with echo also we cannot put data to multiple files guys are you getting my point so we cannot put data into a multiple files by using echo or cat this is very clear so guys i am ending up the session over here only thank you for watching this video in the next session we'll be discussing more about your uh, creating uh, directories creating multiple directories and we'll see the other scenarios okay thank you for watching this video